We're snow shoveling in the house. We got so much trash from between electricians, plumbers, gas pipe, HVAC. So we're trying to clean up a little bit today. There's a big pile. There's the flex they left. I'm trying to find out if they want it back or not. Cause I mean, this is some good pieces. I mean, those are 12, 13 foot pieces of flex. So today is January 19th. We passed inspection for our electrical rough in, so that's good to go. We are waiting on plumbing rough in. We passed everything with plumbing rough in except for our bathtub in our master bath. They wanted some of that Tyvek paper that we were putting behind the shower tub combos. We didn't put the paper behind that, so they failed us for that. Um, but that is in now, so they should be coming back and finishing that um, inspection. Also waiting on the plumber to come back and run his uh, ventilation pipe and his intake pipe for the water heater because it has to be vented since it's gas and there's combustion and all that good stuff. But um, other than that, we're just kind of in a holding pattern until we can get all those inspections done and then we can get our framing inspection. Um, we've pushed our insulation back to next week. Uh, Wednesday next week, which I'm not even sure, real sure what that date is. I would guess 25th, maybe 25th, something like that. But, um, but yeah, we're just cleaning up, tidying up a little bit because we're tired of everything looking like a bomb went off around here. Show you the upstairs now that we've cleaned up a little bit. Say hello, Michael. <laughs> so we're making some progress up here, getting cleaned up. Get some of the trash out of here. Bedrooms are cleaned up. Uh, one thing that my wife and kids have been doing is they've been coming along and writing scriptures and stuff on the walls. Where is there? I thought they put some more. There's one. And then my kids. Kids had their own Sharpie, so there's some of their artwork they're making. I thought they were drawn on the floor. Maybe not. But our daughter, she got cut loose with a Sharpie. And she colored a big old black Sharpie mark right there on our brand new white window. So your pro tip, we use rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and it brought it right off. So if you ever need to get Sharpie off, that'll do it. Rubbing alcohol. And there's another Bible verse my wife wrote on the doorpost of Graham's bedroom. Oh, there's another one. 
There's one. Let's go over here to our daughter's room. See, oh, there's one. Man, she's really been busy. And there's one in our living room. Oh, there's one over the TV or over the, the fireplace. There we go. She's got a lot more on here than I thought. There's one, kind of long. Uh, there's some of our daughter's artwork. There's some more. Oh, she's got one over here. I think that's the only one she's got. That's in our daughter's room. Oh, we got one over the doorpost. There's another one. So that's just something pretty cool that my wife's been doing. She's she didn't want to do that for months, and I'm it's just been too many people over here working, too busy, and try to come over here with three kids and you know five or six people over here working and trying to keep up with all the kids and all that stuff is just a challenge. So she's been waiting patiently to get to come do that. I wonder if she put any in the master bedroom. Man, somebody's been doing. Look at this. Somebody's been doing long division on our studs. I have no idea what that's for. Uh, I don't think we have any in our bedroom. I think we got shorted on that. Nope. Uh, here's something neat about our bathtub I don't, or our shower. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but so our shower will be right here. It's going to be three feet wide, I think five feet long. Um, so pretty long shower. And conventionally, conventionally, shower head, and you would put the knob to turn your shower on right there. But we didn't want to have to open the door and then go all the way in the shower, turn it on, and the water hits you, and you try to jump out of the way of the water. So what we did is we hung the valve for the shower right here on the wall when you walk into the shower. So you just pull the door open, turn the water on, shut the door, let it warm up, and then get in. But the water should, I mean, it should only take two, maybe three seconds to get hot water here because we have the instant recirculation hot water line. But, well, that's about all I've got today. Nothing too exciting. We're just cleaning up so this place doesn't look like a disaster. And we will keep you posted. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.